Welcome to Stormrunner 1.6, codename Frogger. In this tutorial, we are going to walk through the process of installing and configuring an on-premise load generator. We'll start by adding a load generator to our Stormrunner assets. Let's note the load generator's key. We will need this later during the configuration of the Stormrunner agent. Next, we're going to install the on-premise load generator components on the machine designated for the on-premise load generator. These are the contents extracted from the zip file provided by the customer service representative. First, we install Node.js. Now, let's run the HP Load Generator installation. After the files are extracted, we are prompted to install the prerequisites that are missing on our load generator machine. Let's install these programs. On the HP Load Generator installation splash page, let's click Next. On the License Agreement page, we'll clear the Start Load Runner Agent after installation checkbox and accept the license agreement. On the next page, we'll select Load Runner and click Install. On the HP Authentication Settings page, let's clear the Specify a Certificate that will be used by the Load Runner Agent checkbox. And finally, on the Complete Setup page, let's clear the Install the HP Network Virtualization checkbox. Next, we need to install the latest version of Java SE Runtime Environment from the Oracle website. Now, let's install the Stormrunner agent. If the machine we are installing the load generator cannot directly access the Internet, we need to update the HTTP proxy. Back in the folder where we extracted the installation files, let's open Storm Agent Install Command in a text editor. On the second line, we'll remove the word rem and enter our proxy's URL appending HTTP or HTTPS, where appropriate, to the beginning of the URL. Notice the format, HTTP and your proxy's URL, followed by a colon and the corresponding port. Let's save and close the file. Now, we'll run the Stormrunner agent installer as an administrator. Since several components are installed, this may take some time. Let's configure the agent. In the installation folder, let's open sample underscore conf.json in a text editor.
let's enter the key of the load generator that we noted down earlier. We'll specify the logging level. And we'll enter our Storm Runner user credentials and our tenant ID. And let's save and close the file. Once again, if the load generator machine cannot directly access the internet, we need to update our proxy URL in the agent launcher file. In the bin folder of the installation folder, let's open start underscore storm agent dot CMD in a text editor. Let's enter our proxy details as we did earlier. And save and close the file and let's create a shortcut to the file on the desktop. We are now ready to start the Stormrunner agent. In Stormrunner, we can see that the load generator is now connected and can be used for a load test. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment on the YouTube page for this video. For more helpful tutorials, visit our YouTube channel.